Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking about a topic I am so obsessed with right now. It's all I think about. It's a cowgirl aesthetic. Now, some of you may think it's more of an aesthetic. I personally think it's a lifestyle choice. And obviously, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. If you're new, don't be fake. Okay? If you're a little bit hesitant about the cowgirl aesthetic or look, I'm about to change your world. I never wear my hair in plaits and I feel like a little preppy that's about to go to school. But this is how I'm going to wear my hair, I think, tonight because I actually have a dress-up party. And guess what I'm dressing up as? Just guess. I'm dressing up as a cowgirl and I'm so excited. Okay, I feel like the cowgirl aesthetic has obviously evolved over time. But I want to talk about the more traditional looks and what a typical cowgirl aesthetic looks like. Now, me personally, I wasn't a horse girl. But I kind of feel like I missed out. Like, I... I had horses growing up when I was a bit younger, but I feel like I really could have deep dived into that obsession and I was, I didn't, I didn't really give it a chance and now I'm sad about it. When I think about the cowgirl aesthetic, my mind typically goes to like the fringe jackets, flannelettes, mini skirts in denim, short shorts in denim with little rhinestones on them, graphic tees, tall lace up boots, the um, bandana scarves. I feel like for a more everyday casual sort of look, a graphic tee and some like little boots and then adding one of those tassel bags and a little flannelette is kind of like a look. More everyday looks for the cowgirl aesthetic are a denim play suit, whether that's long or short, oversized leather jackets, whether that's black or tanned, oversized denim jacket. Next up is a bit more of a classier cowgirl aesthetic. This is more of like a floral dress, a little denim jacket and some little booties. I'm obsessed with this look. A lot of the floral dresses were either like a white, black, green, and then they kind of added their color with the boots or like in their hair. I did really, really like this image of the girl on the train with like the longer sort of denim dress and then the red boots. I think that is so iconic. I feel like this look is so easy to achieve because you can wear it in summer and winter. You just got to add more jackets and more layers. You don't want to wear dresses or skirts. I feel like a more typical everyday look is like a flared pair of jeans, some tanned boots, a white shirt or a white t-shirt and then like your cowgirl hat. There is a grungy sort of look that I deep dived into and I really like this. It's more of like a leather moment. It's all black. There's a lot of like rhinestones, it's tassels, and it's it's giving. Okay, next up, we're gonna talk about the cowgirl space aesthetic. When I type in what is a cowgirl aesthetic, this is what comes up. It says here that the cowgirl aesthetic is a well-executed play on femme retro. This cowgirl aesthetic is a style and trend hybrid where past meets future. I'm obsessed with that. I think that is such a fun idea. The space cowgirl look is typically a lot of pinks, whites and silvers and then adding the cow print into it here and there. I personally love this look. I think it is so fun and I think this is kind of like how we kind of brought the cowgirl aesthetic back. Correct me if I'm wrong but that's kind of like how I feel people are more dressing these days. It's sort of more of like a costume and they kind of add their flair to it. I do really like the everyday looks as well and it's something I want to try to challenge myself to wear more in 2023. Just, I love the looks with the tassel skirts. I wish I was doing that today, but I ran out of time. It's okay. My look will still be iconic. I love this denim look here. It's so extra and I wish I had more time to do my look because this is something I think is so hot. I love this look of the two girls in more of like a neutral tone, but they've added the silver and the booties. Oh my. When I was doing my research, I didn't find a lot of people doing an all silver look. However, these two images, I, they've nailed it. I feel like this is kind of a look where it might be a little bit harder to shop for, but if you were wanting to do it, I feel like you could find it at like Spotlight or an arts and crafts store and kind of make your own. If you're interested in doing the cowgirl space aesthetic, here's an example of how to put the look together. Screaming, fun energy, and it's such a good group costume. If you're not sold yet on the cowgirl aesthetic, let me show you some images of celebrities that have done it. Because I think they've nailed it. But we've got a lot of Kendall Jenner. She's iconic horse girl. You know, she really does that thing. This image of her that went low-key viral. I mean, of course, I have to give it to her cowgirl queen. And then we've got Gigi Hadid, Miley Cyrus. The list goes on and on of celebrities. We've got the new Barbie movie that's kind of giving cowgirl. I was really trying to find an image of Miley Cyrus like back in the day, Hannah Montana era. This one image of her from the paparazzi that sticks in my brain. She's in like a messy bun and she's got little cow 
cowgirl boots on, take notes, and get on board with the cowgirl aesthetic, okay? Cowgirl hats. I've broken this into two different categories. One is more of like an everyday, traditional sort of cowgirl hat, more basics. And then the other one is obviously for the sparkly space cowgirl aesthetic. I don't think I've ever felt more passionate about a topic in my life. If I was still a PowerPoint presentation and it was getting graded, give me A pluses all the way. More of an everyday look is like the typical straw cowgirl hat. The straw hats are perfect for an everyday look, but I also feel like a lot of people wear them with bathers. I don't know if that's just like an Australian thing, but I'm all here for it. And then here are some examples of like the more hard brim hat in the neutral colors. I love them. Now for the more costume, playful, space cowgirl hats. There's a lot of pinks, there's a lot of fringe tussles, there's a lot of reds. If you're up to date with the Harry Styles tour, you will see a lot of girls are wearing the cowgirl space aesthetic. There's a lot of like fluffy scarves, the hats, and I just think it's so fun. Like, yes, this would be a perfect DIY hat as well if you wanted to get creative. I love this disco ball hat. It's so cool. I don't know how someone has made that, but that is incredible next up we've got the cowgirl booties i need to find my perfect pair and i'm a little bit stressed now i really like the black the tanned and the white i feel like all three of those you can't go wrong here are some of my favorites that i really really love and i think personally the longer cowgirl boots are a bit easier to wear i do really like the short ankle ones but i don't know if they would suit me if you really want to splurge on the space cowgirl look these metallic boots I, do, I don't have words. Another iconic cowgirl boot is kind of like the red. I really, really like the red. I feel like it looks great with denim or any white. And I feel like you can kind of make them a li little bit grungy as well. Cowgirl print. I want to know how we feel about this one because it used to be a really, really big hit. I don't know what year. Let me Google it. I don't know what year it was. I did just try to Google it, but it hasn't really come up with my answers that I was hoping for. First time I wore cowgirl print was in 2020 for Groovin, and I loved this look. I think it was really cool, and I added a bit of color to spice it up. Second time I wore it was in lockdown. Obviously, it wasn't as fun, but here's me just flexing glasses, you know? And I had to throw this image in. My bestie Serena's wore cow print before too, and this is her look. Epic. I feel like the cowgirl print isn't as big anymore because it's I guess a bit harder to wear. Do you remember when everyone was wearing like the cow print jeans though? Like where have they gone? There's also cowgirl tops, cowgirl jackets. I don't really see this trend or aesthetic as much anymore. I mean that's also okay. I do want your thoughts and feelings on that though. Do you think the cow print is going to be coming back as like a full in your face aesthetic and trend or do you think it's going to be a little bit more subtle for cowgirl makeup typically it's more of like a natural sort of look i feel a lot of brown smoky eye eyeliner i feel like a lot of people add little freckles with the freck applicator now for hairstyles is typically plaits i love this first image here where she's got her hair down and done little plaits this is iconic too this hairstyle i don't know how the hell she's done that it hasn't fallen out everywhere i also feel like if you're wearing a hat you can kind of just go with like a greasy messy sort of hairstyle and it would work if you're now officially obsessed and you're like oh my god where do i buy all this cowgirl stuff from don't you worry i've done my research if you're wanting to call items etsy is the place to go there's a lot of really good small businesses to support i personally love the prints up on the wall the set of three i really do hold a special place in my heart for this howdy frog cowgirl painting another item i really love is the restroom signs are you kidding? I mean, a howdy neon sign. You can't go wrong. And then here are two graphic hoodies that I fell in love with. Next up is Princess Polly. They're reliable. They have a wide size range. Here are some items that I found on Princess Polly that I really, really love. First up is my little t-shirt that I'm wearing. It says howdy, if you haven't already noticed. I got my top in a medium and it fits really well. So if anyone's curious, that's the size that I got. Here are the options in cowgirl boots on Princess Polly in black and white. Then we've got the classic straw hat if you're interested in buying one of them. I really loved this green top. I feel like it would look perfect with a denim skirt or denim jeans. This green dress, do I have to say more, with the white booties. It's giving floral. I really liked the look of this Friday Fever shirt. And then if you wore it with like black jeans, black booties, and I kind of like that it's a bit mesh and sort of see-through. Here are the Princess Polly cowgirl hats. So pick as you please. They've got white, pink, blue, and black. If you're wanting to do more of a grungy cowgirl aesthetic, this black leather skirt is perfect. If you're wanting more of an oversized everyday look, but you don't really want a denim, I love this option from Princess Polly 
the Western denim jacket. I also loved this jacket. It's a bit more playful. It's the Henderson jacket and I like how it almost looks like it's got flames on it. A last minute space cowgirl look from Princess Polly with the vacay mini skirt and then if you just add one of their hats. And lastly one of my favorites which also I forgot to mention earlier in more of like an everyday look is a vest. This one here from Princess Polly is I'm gonna have to buy it. Next up, I looked on Nasty Gal. I don't really shop on Nasty Gal, to be honest, but I did really, really like their options of boots. I feel like they had a lot more of a wider range compared to Princess Polly. Now, the clothing on the other hand, I feel like they've got to up their game a little bit. Here are some options of the fringe leather jackets if you're wanting one. They've got it in black, white, and a dark brown. These booties were my favorite, the premium leather stitch cowgirl boot, and I really liked the look of these. I liked the detail of these, and I feel like these would be boots I would more gravitate towards every day. Here are some looks I found off ASOS that I really liked, more of like a graphic tee sort of style. I liked this blue set, the little white t-shirt, and the hoodie with the boot. And then I found this random website called Cider, which I really appreciated these two tops. The first one is like a brown fringe sort of moment and then the other one is a denim corset with the little cutout. I think they're sexy and fun. Okay lastly here are some finds I found on Depop. So easy I spent like 15 minutes and this is what I found. Fun little sparkly cowgirl moment. Super cute pink shirt. This gives me Hannah Montana. Some classic iconic cowgirl jeans. Can't go wrong. I love this red vest. I feel like it's very Emma Chamberlain. A little reusable tote bag. Not to mention this but any sort of accessories would be great. Sunnies, some chunky jewelry, silver, gold, whatever you feel. I'm really gonna have to find myself some cowgirl earrings. That's for sure. Little booties. I loved this little cowgirl necklace with the hat. How adorable. And lastly, I really loved these cowgirl booties. I feel like thrifting online on Depop or ThreadUp is a perfect option. However, I feel like if you went thrifting in store, you would find some gems. Okay, that is it for my cowgirl aesthetic ultimate guide. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Really hope that you're cowgirl aesthetic obsessed like me and go find yourself some little cowgirl booties or a cowgirl hat. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you're new and I'll see you soon. Bye.